Hello guys, welcome to the video. In this video, you will see the review of NVIDIA's GTX 1660 Super graphic card. Not only will you see the review, but also will cover the benchmarks and compare these benchmarks with the other graphic cards in this range. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's start with the specifications. This card comes on a Turing architecture with 12 nanometer manufacturing process. The transistor count is 6.6 .6 billion and it has 1408 CUDA cores. The based slash boost GPU clock is 1530 slash 1785 megahertz and it has a 6 gigabyte of GDDR6 video memory. The memory interface is 198 bit whereas the memory clock is 14 gigabyte per second and the bandwidth is 336 gigabyte per second. Now let's compare this card with the other cards in this range. We are going to compare GTX 1660 Super, GTX 1660 Ti and GTX 1660. Both of these cards are pretty much similar in architecture, date of introduction, manufacturing process and die size, transistor count, but the processing cores are different. The GTX 1660 is having 1408 CUDA cores, whereas 1660 Ti is with 1536 CUDA cores. The base and boost GPU clock is also better in 1660 Ti. Video memory is also next gen. And you can see the difference. Memory clock is also on a higher side in 1660 Ti. Now let's jump towards the benchmarks of this card. Uh, first, we'll see the configurations used. The configuration that we have used in this test bench, the processor is Intel Core i7 8700K. The motherboard is Aorus Z370 Gaming 7. The RAM is G-Skill 16 GB DDR4 RAM. And the graphic card is Zotac's NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super Twin Fan Edition. Now let's see the synthetic benchmarks of this card. For this, the tools used are 3D Mark, Time Spy, and Superposition. The 3D Mark Five Strike Ultra gives this card a score of 3,090. The 3D Mark and Time Spy Extreme gives this card a Spy Graphics subscore of 5,783, and Spy Extreme Graphics subscore is 2,728. As uh, so Unigine Superposition gives this card a uh, Graphics subscore of 24 on 1080p extreme settings and 36 and 15 on 4K and 8K respectively. Mm, now let's jump towards the most interesting part of this video that is gaming benchmark. Let's see its performance on different different games. So first we'll see how this card performs on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. In this game, this card gives a very playable experience. Not very playable, but it is definitely playable 35 fps on 1080p extreme in a rise of the tomb rider on a very high preset the average fps count is definitely here it's very playable it's 81 fps on 1080p extreme and on 2k also it's 58 so it's definitely playable in far cry 5 ultra preset the average fps count is again very playable that is 92 on 1080p extreme and on 2k also it's 64 so it's again very playable there as well on far cry primal this card is giving around 78 fps on 1080p extreme and 51 on 2k so it's again a very good experience there as well in final fantasy xv this card gives here it surprises me it gives a whopping 6040 fps on 1080p extreme can you believe it in hitman absolution this card gives not a very good experience but still a playable experience 53 fps on 1080p extreme and the in Counter-Strike Global Offensive on a high preset, the average FPS count is 301 on 1080p Extreme, which is very, very good. In Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, this card gives around uh, 
232 fps on 1080p extreme and 159 on 2k optimized so you can definitely play it easily on 2k optimized settings so now let's compare this card with different cards in this range for that let's move towards comparative benchmarks First, we'll compare the synthetic benchmarks of three cards that is 1660, 1660 Ti, and R1660 Super. In 3D Mark V Strike Ultra, 1660 Super got a score of, I think, 3090, which is less than 1660 Ti, just 200 points less. In 3D Mark Time Spy and Time Spy Extreme, the Zotax. NVIDIA 1660 Super is outclassed by 1660 Ti by around 500 points. Okay. In Unigen Superposition, uh, 1660 Super is again getting a less score, but not very less, just a difference of 1 and 2 FPS. Now let's move towards the interesting comparison of gaming benchmarks let's compare these cards gaming benchmarks so in shadow of the time rider uh, 1660 super is giving around 35 fps which is less than 1660 and 1660 super yeah sorry ti which is strange in rise of the tomb rider the 1660 super is again outclassed by both the cards that is 1660 and 1660 ti in far cry 5 here it will be interesting 1660 super is performing much better than 1660 but again it's 4 fps less than 1660 ti so i'll just i am just telling you the 1080p extreme comparison you can see other resolutions in this video in the video in the screen here also it's 1660 is outclassed by both the cards in final fantasy xv 1660 super is performing better than 1660 but less than 1660 so although it's less but it's still it's very playable it's 6000 6000 fps experience so it's really very playable in hitman absolution it's just very bad it's very less than both the cards in counter strike global offensive 1660 super is very near to the 1660 ti and it's greater than 1660 so it's good here in tom clancy's rainbow six siege 1660 super is getting 232 fps which is 5 fps less than 1660 ti so it's good here as well now let's compare the most important thing that is price let's compare the prices of this card for that let me just search these cards on amazon at the time of recording this video these are the prices this may change so according to the prices the verdict may change but for now let's search the prices so 1660 ti is of 52,499 now let's search 1660 ti mm, 1660 yeah it's it's 66,000 oh man it's 67,000 it's huge definitely it's huge i don't think so it's worth it now let's search 1660 it's uh, 50,000 so this is less than both the cards at the time of recording this video so now let's move towards the final verdict so which card to choose this is the most important question so according to the prices that we just saw you can definitely go for 1660 and if you have some extra money then you can go for 1660 super as well but right now just don't go for 1660 ti because the price is really not worth these prices may be different in the offline market but i don't think so there will be a much difference so you can yeah you can go for 1660 or 1660 super according to your budget so that was it for today's video guys if you like this type of content make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for regular notification thank you very very much